first rules now that is the cleansing agent that are the soaps we are using the soap that is sodium salt of higher fatty acid are known as hard soap whereas potassium salt of higher fatty acids are known as soft soap we are using as a shaving cream liquid soaps so these are some cleansing agents and formation of soap is called saponification reaction we can use that is the simple saponification reaction you can write down in this way ch3cwh plus naoh you will get what ch3cwna this is the soap and if we are using higher fatty acids we can take another example c15 at 31 cwna is also known as soap that that is the soap now so cleansing action of soap if you would like to discuss cleansing action of soap my dear student which we have discussed that c15 at 31 c double o and a this is polar part of the soap this is polar part this is non polar part this is called water attracting end and this is called water repelling end even then we can say that polar part like that this is also called head and this is called tail in the next page i'm just going to explain the cleansing action one circle another circle and this i will make negative and positive so you have learned the principle that like dissolve like so this is what non polar part and this is what polar part when our soap is dissolved in water and with the dirty cloth this is the ionic part soluble in the water this is a non ionic part and you know that non ionic part dissolve with the non ionic part like as grease dirt dust that is not polar so finally what the work has been done by the soap soap will release the dirty part from the cloth and dirty part is the non ionic and it will come in touch with the non ionic tail of the soap and ionic part go with the water in this way dirty cloth get washed so what is this circle this is called actually micelle formation micelle what is now micelle micelle is that a cluster of soap molecules and cluster means there is a group of 
100 to 200 soft molecules that is called micelle and it is formed at the temperature craft temperature my dear student total there are three chapter in the chemistry craft temperature transition temperature and <coughs> differential between alpha and beta glucose that temperature the temperature above which micelle formation takes place the temperature above which micelle formation takes place is called craft temperature and one is the critical micelle concentration the concentration at which the concentration above which micelle formation takes place micelle formation takes place you can draw also so many C W N A negative positive negative positive C W N A negative positive so you have to revise craft temperature critical micelle concentration micelle these are the definition which we must use now that is one more thing here that soap will not froth in hard water because of that why the soap will not froth answer is that due to succumb formation because of that you are already aware that in hard water there is a magnesium or chlorine is present magnesium or calcium is present when they react with the soap it will give you what scum formation and due to which the froth soap will not froth in the hard water to overcome this we have to move to the detergents Please be with me in the next class I am going to discuss the types of detergent and what is the advantage of the detergent over soaps. Thank you very much my dear students. Thank you.